Gluten is a family of storage proteins found in various grains such as barley, rye, and wheat. Gluten is responsible for the soft and chewy texture of pastries and baked items. It also retains the moisture in bread, pasta, and cereal. Around 1% of the world's population is gluten intolerant, which happens when the body perceives gluten as an enemy and initiates an immune response against it. Upon consumption of gluten, gluten intolerant people may experience severe symptoms. The surface area of the intestine reduces due to the reaction triggered by gluten. As a result, fewer nutrients are absorbed. This may result in malnutrition. Malnutrition can lead to symptoms like weight loss, fatigue, anemia, and weak bones. Further, lesser water and fat absorption can lead to diarrhea. When the bacteria in the gut is messed up, it results in bloating and gas. Gluten intolerance can manifest as any combination of these symptoms. Because of this, the diagnosis can be very difficult. In fact, 80% of celiac disease cases, a severe form of gluten intolerance, remain undiagnosed. So, why do some people react this badly to gluten while others don't? This can be explained by certain genetic differences. There are three types of HLA genes involved in immune reaction. HLA-DP, HLA-DQ, and HLA-DR. These three types further have several subtypes, also called isoforms, like HLA-DQ2, HLA-DQ8, and so on. There is a variation between the subtypes present in each individual. Out of the several subtypes, only HLA-DQ2 and HLA-DQ8 attach to the gluten protein. So all gluten intolerant people have either of the subtypes. The prevalence of these two isoforms varies between different population groups. For example, HLA-DQ2 is found in less than 5% of Japanese people but in around 25% of European Caucasians. While almost all people with gluten intolerance carry HLA-DQ2 or HLA-DQ8 subtype, the other way round is not true. For instance, only 4% of Caucasians with HLA-DQ2 develop celiac disease. This is because genetic differences are not the only contributors to gluten intolerance. Certain environmental factors play a big role as well. Having an intestinal infection can result in the immune cell activation to fight it off. So when such a person consumes gluten, the immune system will react to it, leading to gluten intolerance. So, just the presence of HLA-DQ2 or HLA-DQ8 may not result in gluten intolerance. However, it can significantly increase your risk. Genetic tests are used to determine which type of HLA-DQ variant you carry. Xcode Life's Gene Nutrition Report analyzes five subtypes of the HLA-DQ gene for gluten sensitivity. You can use that information for tailoring a personalized diet to suit your nutritional needs.